Hi there, welcome to TMC and today we're looking at this Peugeot Partner finished in silver. I'm going to walk around of the vehicle and show you some key features, details and cosmetics. Starting off on the front here, we're going to be looking for any sort of stone chips or minor defects that we do see, such as these chips on the bonnet here. See them scattered around. All over the bonnet, because as you can imagine with any used vehicle, you are going to get some degree of damage and defect. I'm going to try and point out as many of these as possible today. I will be covering the entirety of the bodywork so that if I do miss any, they will be seen still. Then coming up this wheel, actually, you do have a scratch just there and some more scratches just up here as well. Looking up and over that wheel arch, aside from that, it's looking quite good. And you do have wheel covers on this. We're going to look at all of them. That's just the first one we're going to stop at there. And coming across the front of the bumper here and looking at the grille as well. Some scuffing on the bumper as we went, but aside from that, looking good. Now, coming up and over this wheel, actually, do have some more scratches here, as you can see, and then one just in the back there as well. Just here. Now, coming up and over, you got some around here as well, some chip up there, chip down here. And now, the second wheel there, onto this passenger door here. Got some chipping under the handle here, and some scratches here, over here, on the rear sliding door as well. Sorry, not on the rear door, on the sliding door. And then up here as well, you have some. So from that looking okay, we are going to open this up and have a look in the passenger door and the driver's door as well. Seeing some marking on this door here. Coming in and looking inside. Nice and neat on the top part of the dash, but on the glove box, you do have some scratches here, as you can see. And then down here as well. And looking at the cloth interior on the seats, these two seats here looking very good. We will look at the driver's one as well when we get round to it. So, finishing up on the sliding door, you do have a scratch along here, as you can see. To excuse the wind. And then some light scratches down here as well. But now I'm just going to open this up and have a look in the rear here. So there we are along here. Coming up there. Looking at the rear doors, you see they look in good condition. We will look at them in closer in a second. Don't have a fully finished bulkhead. We do have a mesh one on here. Again, to get a closer look at that when we go around. Rear quarter here. See, looking really good up and over this wheel arch. Got some light scratching just on this wheel arch here and then on the back there as well. And then a scuff just down here too on that sliding door, but that cover's looking good too. Now over here, just along here, got some minor scratches. I don't think we missed that second cover perhaps, so we're going to look at that again just there. Then coming around here to the rear barn doors and looking at the rear bumper as well as we go you've got some scratches on that as well as some cracks very normal on rear bumpers that's what they're there for really now looking at these doors here very good and very healthy on that one and the same for this one down here it is missing a t off peugeot at the back but such from that looking quite good open these up and have a look in the back here first off at this door got some scratching as we did mention but aside from that these are looking quite good as you can imagine with lots of van doors we get and lots of van doors in general are sort of dented and scratched along there so they're looking quite healthy along here as well looking at that sliding door over there then the bulkhead you see some scratches on there but again nothing major here to the long panel side of this van. Do have some dings and dents along here. We will stop off at these. I think you can maybe make them out as we look down. Got one just here. A little further down as well. Down here. Got them there. Then that fourth and final alloy there. Scratch us on the wheel arch just up here. 
focus just here. Some down here as well, just here. And then another one just down there, but that was more like a scuff than a scratch there. And the camera's going to come out so you can see the dents in the side here, just here and here. On this driver's door, he does some scratches here. You can see. And then under the door handle as well. But we are going to open this up and have a look inside of the driver's seat and then start it up. On the driver's seat, as you can see at the top, there is a mark just here. It looks like maybe a burn, maybe something like that. Not too sure what would have caused it. But there we are. Coming in, we're looking at the door here. Maybe a few minor scuffs. Nothing too major. Again, just going to climb in now and start it up. You can see there, 61,000 miles has just gone there. So, I'm just going to go for the mileage to come back up. There we go, 61,000. And going on the menu, looking at the uh, radio, you do have DAB radio, any settings, Bluetooth connectivity, we're just going to look at that quickly, see some phones on there, and then the rear parking sensors as well as you can see there, and then miles per gallon and everything like that. If you didn't already, this is a manual and it has working AC.